Just call or visit FredLoya.com. If you don't call, you don't save. Your time now is 6.20, and in case you were wondering, we did ask Cherish mm -hmm. what team she was on, and she said? Edward. Edward. Team Edward. Team Edward. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. All righty. Well, yesterday we talked about some Easter happenings, but the fun is just beginning because uh, Easter is this weekend, so we are crawling up to all that fun, There's right? lots to do, Daniel Vanda, here to break it all down for us. Yes, breaking the info down, not the eggs, not right now. <laughs> not just not yet. yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys, I'm really excited about this because Easter is, as we've been mentioning, days away. Everyone's still planning out their festivities, which is great because uh, this is another event for you to check out, okay? It's the annual egg hunt, and it's happening over at Desperado Harley-Davidson in the city of McAllen. Now, it's all going down on Saturday, the day before Easter. The main event is going to start right at noon and it's a family friendly occasion uh, with extra special fun for the kiddos to enjoy. See children 13 and up are going to be able to participate in on site activities all centered around the Easter theme and well that means that there's a lot on the agenda. OK, we're talking sidewalk chalk fun uh, cornhole plus a whole afternoon of face painting and it's bright and vibrant colors all to help us get in the spirit of the good holiday and adults are also going to be able to have a great time with cool beverages on site and the fun is going to go on and on while supplies last, which means you can get there early to make sure that you got plenty of time to take part in everything. Now, all the details are going to be outlined on the organization's web page, so be sure to log on to that and take a look. And in anticipation of this event myself, I got to thinking, how exactly did the history of Easter egg hunting even begin? Well, it turns out that it's actually a custom that originated from ancient Germany, and it actually dates back to the 16th century. It seems that the males of the town would hide different eggs so that females and children would not be able to find them out of food scarcity. And then later, the eggs would be decorated as a mark of the end of a fasting period. Of course, the designs and the colors got more intricate throughout the years and later had a religious tie as well. So, you know, definitely an interesting background for what seems like a silly custom, but there's a whole bunch that goes into the deep history of the holiday. Uh, at the end of it all, though, it really just brings families together with games and food and, of course, lots of family fun. So whether you decide to egg hunt at home or maybe at this event, we definitely hope you have the best Easter ever. I'm excited about this, you guys. Uh, plus all the candy we have some here. I think we're having trouble oh, keeping so our gosh, hands off it yeah. of it. It's <laughs> down quite uh, significantly from yesterday. <laughs> Well, why don't you just at me at this point because, <laughs> I mean, I'm the one that's kind of been grabbing a little here and there, and I think I've been the only one grabbing. No, I grabbed like one today, one. maybe one yesterday. I, I <laughs> haven't. Break. I haven't, so that's not me. Hey, <laughs> all I have to say about the history about the eggs, how dare they? How dare they hide those eggs from I know, us? I, I know. know it was like maybe to save for later, <laughs> mm -hmm. but... Mm, and you know what, <laughs> for filling them with candy, uh, confetti, flour, why not fill them up with dollar bills? You know? <laughs> At this yeah. point, I'll take coupons. I mean, just, you know. <laughs> yeah, we have the Easter egg hunt. One of my uncles, he puts $100 bills on oh. one of our eggs, and it's like always, I've never gotten it. But I'm, I, even though I'm almost, I'm in my 30s, but I still participate mm -hmm. in that Easter egg hunt for that $100 bill. Would That's that be sure. the golden egg? Yeah, yeah it's oh the golden egg. But it's not golden, it's the skies and some other location. And mm. what is the address that you, you guys celebrate? Uh, <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> Invite us to the party, <laughs> please. Uh, we'll do. We yeah. can split the bill. Yeah. Theo, we're coming over. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He's, he's all our uncles at this yeah. point. That's yeah. what I'm saying, like Uncle Jesse. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> all right, Daniel, thank you. And officers with CBP expect.